Hi there and welcome to tutorial 7 for the Edexcel Statistics 1 A-Level module and this video is going to be based around box and whisker plots. As always, if you're looking for further help with your studies, do check out youtube.com slash Maths. Okay, so we're going to start by just doing a quick reminder of what we should already know from a GCSE on box and whisker plots. So a box and whisker plot looks like this at GCSE. So the middle line here was our median the line in the middle of the box. The end of the box was Q3 or our upper quartile. So that was the upper quartile. And this line here was our lower quartile or Q1 in this case. This was the lowest value in the data set. This was the highest value in the data set. So it's a nice way of summarizing a data set, giving us some key features. So I can see the median of this data set is 18. The upper quartile looks to me to be around 23.5 the lower quartile is 9 the lowest value would be 3 and the highest value would be 30 so that's what a uh, GCSE box plots required us to know now there's a slight change of what we need to know for a level so at a level a box and whisker plot will look very similar but there are some subtle differences First thing you may notice is we have this little X here. And now when we see an X in a box and whisker plot, it represents an outlier. So it's telling us where an outlier is. So now that we've learned how to find outliers, we can now represent them on our box and whisker plot. This line at the end here is no longer the lowest value. It's now the lowest value that is not an outlier or it's the boundary for the outlier. This line as always is Q1. This line is still the median and this is Q3 and this line, you've guessed it, will be the highest value that is not an outlier or the boundary for an outliers. So just looking at our example here, I can clearly see that, well, this line here is going to be the boundary or sorry, the lowest value that is not an outlier and that's an outlier. And this line here is the boundary for the outliers. So this line here is the boundary for the outliers. in this case, um, because we have an outlier here, this is the lowest value that is not an outlier. So it can be either or depending on whether we have outliers. So that's what an A-level box plot looks like. So let's have a look at an example. So if you remember the previous video, we had this um, stem and leaf diagram, and this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a box and whisker plot using this data. So if you remember how to calculate Q1, you would have worked out that Q1 is going to be 29. Q2 is going to be 35.5. And Q3 is going to be 41. So let me just summarize this in our box plot for now. So I'm going to do Q1, which is 29, and Q3, which is 41. So let's find 29 which is here, and we've got to go up as far as 41. So drawing a nice box like that. Next thing I've got to do is I've got to mark in this Q2, so our median value. Q2, which is 35.5, so that's 35, that's 36. 35.5 is going to be around about halfway in between. Let's just try and make that even more accurate. There we go. So that's halfway in between. And if we remember, again from the last video, and how to find the outliers, we need to do, we need to check if a value x is greater than Q3 plus 1.5 times by the interquartile range. And we also have to check if there's any values x that are less than q1 minus 1.5 times by the interquartile range. Now, if you're, if you're unsure where these formula have come from, do look at the previous tutorial because I explain um, what we use these for. So they, they tell us where the outliers are. And if I put these into the formulas, I find that... 0, 0.5 and 0, 0.7 are going to be outliers. So let's just double check 
and make sure that we use the formula correctly. So Q3, which is 41, so we need to do 41 plus 1.5 times by the interquartile range. The interquartile range is 41 take away 29, which is 12. 1.5 times 12, 41 plus 18 gives us 59. So I know that the highest value that is not an outlier is 59. So I'm going to mark that on the diagram and draw a line. Let me just tidy this up so that it looks a little bit neater. Okay, that's worked out nicely. Now we need to check the lower quartile. So I need to do Q1, 29, minus 1.5 times the interquartile range, which is 12. So 29 take away 18, and 29 take away 18 is 11. So anything less than 11, but that's the boundary that's the boundary now, and everything after that is an outlier. So let me mark that boundary. So let me find 11. Let's duplicate this so that it's the same size. All right, so we want to go to 11. So I'm going to mark the boundary, and everything after that is an outlier. And the other thing i got to do is I've also got to mark these two outliers. So 5 and seven are also outliers. So now I can see that we've got two outliers. This is the lowest value. So this is the boundary. The boundary for outliers. And this is the highest value. That's not an outlier. And as always, this is still Q2, Q3, and Q1. Okay, time for you to have a go. So pause the video and draw a box plot for this stem and leaf diagram. Okay, hopefully you've managed to do that. So I identified Q1 as 69, Q2 was 75, and Q3 was 81. So I used the formula to check where my outliers were. Um, anything above 99, so 99 was my boundary, or anything below 51 was going to be an outlier. And I've marked 41 and 47 as the outliers. Okay, that's it for this video, quite a short one. You should now be able to complete exercise 4C and 4D from the textbook. Do have a read of the chapter and the examples that go with it. Uh, best of luck with the revision and I'll talk to you again sometime.